Thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Michelle Lorenz, and I'm so excited to be here with Steph talking to you about our new adventure with Nerf 2 and how Nerf 2 is making such a huge difference for her horses. So hold on one second, and we're going to go over the presentation, and you're going to hear about the things that made Steph fall in love with these products. So and let me just minimize myself here. And so we're going to get started by talking about our company, Life Vantage and how we are able to use this new technology, this new science called nutrigenomics that's going to help with horse health. And it's really the future of equine health or horse health, and we're bringing that to you now. But before we get started on the presentation, I wanted to Steph to walk you through the story of her horses and how they have responded to being Nerf 2 activated. So Steph, I'm going to let you tell us about the horse we see there on the right kissing the cute little girl. All right. Hey, thanks, Michelle, for helping with this tonight. I appreciate your time. Uh, the horse on the right here is Ducky, the paint with the little girl. He's a horse that I um, got about well, about two well, a year and a half ago. And um, he, when I got him, I was aware that he had a slight navicular issue, possibly. Um, but then getting him home, that Part of it's been great with the right shoeing and exercise, um, but he does seem to have a little bit of anxiety and has had two bouts with colic, slight colic issues. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure why. Um, anyway, so I actually have started him on this product, and since he's been on it, um, I've been able to turn him out without any anxiety. He just seems really happy. And my feeling is that it's helping with his gut health and just to be more soothed and relaxed. He um, isn't distracted easily like he kind of was when he first had these issues. Um, but he's just a really good boy. And as you can see here, he really likes the attention and the little ones especially. But he's just a really good boy. So I feel like even um, with the navicular, although it wasn't bothering him yet, um, I think it probably will um, be a good benefit down the road um, on top of the anxiety issues. So um, did you want me to move on to Ellie? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So on the left side, go ahead. So on the left is Ellie. Uh, she is a mare that we acquired uh, almost two years ago um, in the hopes to um, have our a brood mare. And She's quite an interesting story. She's an own daughter of uh, invitation only, an older mare. Um, but when she came to us, we knew we were kind of taking a, a risk. We weren't for sure what condition she was in. And, of course, when she arrived, she was pretty thin and sore. <laughs> um, as you can see, the, the picture with the green blanket was her the day she arrived. Um, we put a blanket on her because she was... It was cold, but she was pretty thin and it was kind of hard to look at her. But through giving her the right nutrition and attention and uh, care for her hoofs, um, you know, she kind of came around. But she was still having some issues walking with some stiffness, um, which is where I kind of ended up getting to find out about uh, this product. And that's part of the rest of the story, I guess. But this product has made a huge difference in her. Not only does she walk 100% better, uh, she was able to have this filly for us. Um, she was on the product the entire time she was pregnant. Uh, had a great, easy delivery, which I think she had done in the past, but at the age of 23, she did an amazing job. And she's still on the product, and her filly is just doing wonderful. Mom's doing wonderful. Um, you know, for having a now, what, three months old filly on her, her body still looks great. She's not sucked in. Her hip looks nice and round. Um, and she uh, she plays with her baby, so that's really fun to see and just know that she's feeling well. Um, and then the sorrel horse here is Elvis. He was my daughter's real first circuit show horse, and he's just an amazing boy. Um, into... Uh, Partway through her youth career, he was diagnosed with laminitis. And you kind of see in the one picture there, he kind of chronically has low heels. So we were always having to keep up on getting his feet done. 
but it started affecting him and he did get a suspensory injury, which pretty much kind of ended his career. Um, and so he kind of always walked with a slight limp and, um, putting him on this product has been a world of difference. This picture here with the blue, um, writing that says activated. That's one of the most recent pictures of Elvis. He's 27. He doesn't have any limp. Um, my farrier, um, says that, you know, it's a lot easier to do his feet because he's not as sore and he just, he's a really happy horse and, um, he's doing amazing. I love the fact that he's not on any butte and he walks and trots like you wouldn't even think that he's the age that he is. So I'm really happy about, I'm, I'm not ever going to take him off of it. <laughs> so and how and old is Elvis now? What's that? How old is Elvis now? Elvis is 27. Yep. Wow. And we had to actually stop writing him when he was 15. So, um, you know, we've had him, we got him when he was 10. So we've had him quite a while and he, he's amazing horse. I mean, he's, um, won a bunch of circuit awards and, um, he won, he came from Texas and, um, oh, won some huge trail, um, awards there. At, um, I don't know what the stock show. I can't even remember. I can't remember, but he's just a, a great boy, great kid's horse. Um, just love him. Um, and then, and of course, Ducky's in that picture there with Elvis. Um, and then this black horse here, he was my daughter's horse that took over after Elvis. And um, I have him on Nerf too. And I don't really have one underlying issue that I'm trying to treat other than the fact that he's 24 now. Uh, he was a Western rider, which is a lot of, a lot on their hawks and just their joints in general. Um, and he did at one point before we got him founder. So he had a slight rotation of the coffin bone. And we were able to manage it with the right shoeing. Um, and I had an amazing shoer in Eugene that I used to do his feet. But I just know that this horse has had a lot of oxidative stress through his life. And we've been lucky that we've, I guess, taken good care of him that nothing has popped up. But um, he does exhibit some signs from ulcers. Um, but I, I have him on it and he's just doing great. Like, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I just don't want anything to happen. <laughs> and I know things happen, but it makes me feel good to give it to him because I feel like I'm helping him from the inside out and, you know, preventing any oxidative stress that might come, come up. So they were all, go ahead. One of the reasons I love your story is because you really, you started Ellie on it and you were a bit skeptical, but you, you tried Ellie on it and she was showing so much progress that it went from one horse to two horse to three horses right. to four horses, right? I know, I know. And it's like, how do you choose? <laughs> but it really, I mean, if you have an issue, like to see an issue in Elvis go away that he just walks soundly, there's no gimp, there's no limp. And Ellie, you could tell it was in her shoulder and you could tell it hurt. And to know that she can run with her filly and feel good and just enjoy, you know, her time and be comfortable. That's how I know it works. look like a 23-year-old mare. No, I know. And so this was really her last baby that um, we're going to have her have. But we are um, going to keep her on the NFR2. And then um, in talking to my vet, we're going to um, try to do an embryo next year and find a recipient mare just because we love her wow. eating and then... Um, I just don't want to put her through it again. You know, like I, I think she loves it. She loves being a mom. She did great, but we're going to try this other route and let her just be. So we'll see what happens. Cool. How exciting. Yeah. Well, yeah. and then, so it's not just the four horses that you have right. on it now, right? So what happened, uh, in addition to that? To the, oh, I'm taking it. Um, <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I actually put my husband on it before I started it. Um, I don't know, obviously the horses were first, <laughs> but I thought, well, if the horses are doing it, maybe my husband will even be more supportive of it. If he's seeing benefits from it and he's a runner, very um, active. Um, so he's taking it and he's had some really good results with some of his recent doctor visits, um, with some of his blood work and, um, and he's feeling good. He had a knee, re knee, knee surgery, um, 15 years ago. So that's always kind of bugged him. And this has really helped um, with some of the, the pain and stiffness that he's had um, in that knee. 
and I'm sure him working out helps, but it helps with, you know, the oxidative stress that he's creating for himself. I yeah, love that story, you know, I, that's how I got started on it because I've had 16 different orthopedic surgeries myself and I noticed a huge difference in my knees and ankles um, almost probably about two, two and a half weeks in. I started thinking, I think this is really helping. You know, I wanted to wait longer because they yeah. say, you know, one month for every decade of life. And so I was expecting about six months before I saw the optimal results. But after about two to three weeks, I could really start seeing the impact on my joints. So, and for me, um, you know, my background's actually not in horses, it's in dogs. And I saw so many stories in the dog world. And part of the reason I love your story, Steph, and the reason that I'm here today is because you and I both know an animal doesn't know what a placebo effect is, right? So you and I can know that we take a pill and, oh, maybe this pill's supposed to make me feel better. But when you see a mare that was lame that is now running out in the pasture with her filly, you know that it's working because she doesn't right. know pill supposed to make a difference for her so that's part of the story that got Steph involved and it's how I got involved as well so let's talk a little bit about the science behind all of this and give you guys a background on what convinced us so we're going to talk tonight a little bit about the genetics and how this impacts a horse's genetics optimizing those and this is called NRF2 or NRF2 activation you'll hear about some other testimonials besides Steph's testimonial you'll hear about a few stories about people and dogs we have a few other products you can use for your horses as well and then for those of you that are into the science i certainly was i wanted to make sure that this wasn't just a sales gimmick i wanted to know that there was clinical studies behind it we'll talk about that and then the last five minutes we'll talk about the business for any of you that are interested in the business aside from being a customer so first we're going to talk about epigenetics so epigenetics what that is and i'm going to minimize myself here epigenetics is just how the our environment impacts the way our genes express themselves and epigenetics applies to people and horses and dogs alike so what we know now is that our genes that they're not they're only about 20 percent of them are hardwired the rest of our genes they're just blueprints and we can alter that how those genes are expressed and back in 2019 just a year ago the nobel prize was awarded in medicine for some scientists that discovered that there's a gene that we can impact when this protein attaches to the DNA and it changes the way the gene expresses itself. Our company, Life Bandage, has been doing that way back, back into 2003. So we've really been a leader in this field of epigenetics. And so the way we do that here at Life Bandage is with nutrition. So nutrigenomics is nutra, stands for nutrition, and genomics is for genes. So using nutrition, to impact the way our genes express themselves and the way our horses' genes express themselves. And so tonight we're going to talk about NERF2 and how NERF2 impacts our immune system, a horse's ability to detoxify from all of the toxins and pollutants that it's exposed to, huge impact on inflammation that's throughout a horse's body. We'll spend a lot of time talking about oxidative stress and a little bit of time talking about mitochondria. So if you think back to the horses that are that were around a thousand years ago, they are exposed to different things today than they were a thousand years ago. Our horses' bodies, just like ours, have been hijacked. And it could be from the feed that they get, the pesticides and herbicides that are on their feed, the GMOs, the plastics, you're going to hear about some of those damages damage caused by that tonight, different parasites that are out there, fungicides that we use, and even some of the pharmaceutical products that we give to them. What we want to do here at Life Vantage is teach you how to biohack your horse, which means optimizing your horse's genetic potential, maximizing their performance, and really importantly, improving both the quality of the horse's life, but also the, the extending their lifespan. And certainly you heard Steph talk about Ellie and Ellie's amazing pedigree. With that kind of pedigree, you want to do everything to squeeze every last bit of genetic potential out of that pedigree. And that's what NRF2 is enabling Steph to do. So what is NRF2 and what's oxidative stress? Well, you see here in the slide, there's a lot of different things that are diseases that are impacted by oxidative stress. So it could be any neurodegenerative diseases you see up there, could be um, anything related to ataxia, any motor neuron diseases, huge impact on heart function and lung function, pulmonary edema. But where you're going to see the outward impact of this is on their skin. So if you've got horses that have scratches, sarcoids, dermatitis, or if you've got horses that have melanoma, skin cancer, you're going to see impact there. You may have a horse that has equine metabolic syndrome, Cushing's, right, PPID, horses that have colic. Colic is, is impacted by oxidative stress. 
over on the right hand side, you're going to see massive response when you have anything that ends in itis. So itis, anything that ends in itis, that's the word in medical terms for inflammation. So laminitis, uveitis, I actually have a couple of horses that have been using our products that the inflammation in their eyes have gone down, some appies that have that. You have mares that may have problems with endometriosis or pyometra. Semen quality in your stallions improves, as well as the ability to freeze and thaw that. Up in the top for lungs, massive impact on strangles, heaves, asthma, any allergies. Um, really, really significant response there. And then again, you see on the top with glaucoma, cataracts, and obviously uveitis that I just mentioned. So the, what we want to do is we want to control oxidative stress at the cellular level here, because if we don't, it's going to damage the tissue, the organs, and ultimately damage the entire horse. So what is oxidative stress? You may have heard the term. It's just the waste product from when we use oxygen. So you see the apple on the left. That's oxidative stress on the apple. On the right-hand side is before the oxidation. These are some common examples of oxidation, the rust on a car or the browning of fruit. But then on the right, you see some horses, a horse and a pony. Both, those are the impacts of oxidative stress on horses. So what is oxidative stress? It's really just an imbalance between the antioxidants in our body and when you have more free radicals. Free radicals are caused by those toxins that hijack us. And so let's talk about how that impacts a horse. When a foal is born, they don't have a whole lot of toxins that have impacted them, but what they do have is our body's own pharmacy, both in people and in horses. Our body's pharmacy makes these antioxidants that are way more powerful than antioxidants they take. And the younger we are, the better that pharmacy works. And fortunately, when we're really young, we haven't had a lot of exposure to toxins that have hijacked us. But as we age, whether we're a human or a foal, we get exposed to more oxidative stress. And that oxidative stress ultimately means a lot more free radicals. So that could be the toxins or the GMOs or the pesticides. And unfortunately, our body's own pharmacy doesn't work as well at a, in a 27-year-old horse like Elvis, like it does in a four-month-old foal like Stella. And because of that, our body reacts with oxidative stress and inflammation. And that's what our product does a really fantastic job in controlling. And so the product we're going to talk about tonight a lot is called NRF2 Pro Tandem. We sold about 23 million bottles in the last 10 years. And I love how it works because what it does is it flips the switch on our body's genes. So we have about 500 genes in our body that scientists call survival genes. That's because these genes needed to work to protect us and protect the wild horses way back a thousand years ago before we had a vet to help come service them, right, to take care of them. And so what these genes do is they control our body's pharmacy. They help us repair and rejuvenate our own cells. They increase our body's production of antioxidants. They help us neutralize up to a million free radicals. They're going to help us with anti-inflammatory, anti-fibrotic, so that's anti-scarring. They're going to help us detoxify our horses' bodies. And then we actually have a study here at LifeVantage that was published in a peer-reviewed journal that shows that it lowers oxidative stress by an average of 40% in 30 days and 70% in 120 days. And then there's a fantastic study for those of us that were skeptics like myself and maybe even Steph. We have a study by the National Institute of Health that looked at our product. We didn't know they were doing the study and they studied it for several years and they tested this and what they found, it's the only all natural product they have ever tested since 1999 that's ever extended median lifespan. And then there's a great quote in a journal that I love. It said, our product, Pro Tandem Nerf 2, has been vetted in scientific journals and clinically proven to activate nuclear Nerf 2. And so what are the ingredients in it? The ingredients are turmeric, ashwagandha, milk thistle, bacoba, and green tea extract. And so those are the ingredients. If you compete, you want to check with your local um, organization. We've had nobody that's actually had any problems with this. You may have to do a, a one or two day withdrawal period, depending upon uh, what your own organization requires. But we have people competing in NFR, some actually NFR champion barrel racers. We have people in the performance world. We have hunter jumpers using it. We have people on the track uh, down at Hialeah and several different thoroughbred breeders that are using it. So really, really powerful, those ingredients um, that you see. And in fact, it's the ashwagandha and bacoba that are giving the calming effect that she mentioned um, that Ducky has had from these products. So 
Now, a lot of you may use Golden Paste, and some people say, well, Michelle, I've got a lot of great supplements. You guys know Steph. You know that she was already feeding quality feed. She was doing everything she needed to do for her horses, but they responded differently once they tried Nerf 2. And why is that? So this is the second study that we did, and it was funded by the American Diabetes Association. So you know it's legit. It's the real deal. And what they found is they compared all of the ingredients in our product, along with a control, which was sulforaphane from broccoli, and then they compared it to our recipe, which is our product, ProTandem Nerf 2. And what they found is Nerf 2 protects the cells 18 times more effectively than any individual one of those ingredients. So that's why you're going to see ProTandem outperforming Golden Paste that has obviously turmeric or curcumin in it. Now, this is what's called an antioxidant hierarchy. So remember I mentioned earlier that our body's genes turn on our body's pharmacy and that pharmacy produces our own antioxidants. Well, the antioxidants you see on the bottom, maybe you give your horses though, you may give them vitamin E, right, in their feed and carotenoids coming from carrots. That Those are good. Those are good antioxidants, but they're external. Those are called exogenous. The ones in the bright blue at the top are the ones our body's pharmacy makes, sod, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase. And the ones at the top in the bright blue, the higher you go up this antioxidant hierarchy, the more powerful these antioxidants are that's why Steph, even though she was feeding great food and great supplements, her feed wasn't doing what Nerf 2 is doing. And that's because our clinical study shows that Nerf 2 boosts the body's production of glutathione peroxidase by 300%. It boosts the production of catalase by 54%. And it turns up the production of sod or superoxide dismutase by 30%. That's important because remember, we talked about those toxins and free radicals in our body. Our bodies have about 130 sextillion free radicals in them every single day. Every one of our cells is being attacked by free radicals. Our cells, our horses' cells, our dog cells. And if those antioxidants on the bottom here, it takes one antioxidant molecule to neutralize or get rid of one bad free radical molecule. In contrast, one molecule of sod gets rid of a million free radicals. Again, that's why we're seeing the results. It's up to a million times more powerful than any of the things you're probably already using as a supplement. So let's talk about some of those testimonials. These are some of the people that are, are distributors with the company. On the top left, Tammy's a professional barrel racer down in Florida. She owns a feed and tax store. Um, this is one of my uh, distributors as well, Kathy. She's one of my business partners who competes in cutting and you see here, this is Leslie, who I mentioned is an NFR champion uh, barrel racer, and she has several of her customers on this, including a horse that is a professional barrel horse, um, million dollar horse who's using these products. So you can see hunter jumpers. This is actually Sabra O'Quinn. Many of you obviously know her. She's also a customer here with Life Vantage. But I wanted to tell you the story about the, the equine story that convinced me, and it's from a grade one winning breeder. So down at Hialeah, there is a family by the name of Bonnie and Kim Heath. And Bonnie's family is kind of legends in the Florida equine world. They bred the first Florida born and bred Kentucky Derby winner named Needles. And so Bonnie actually grew up on the backside of the track at Hialeah. And you see him here with his horse named Miss Pangea. So Miss Pangea, you can see from her pedigree, has a pedigree that most people would love. Obviously, double uh, Northern Dancer and uh, Secretariat. So pretty impressive pedigree. She was um, a mare who had, unfortunately, a stillborn foal. And she had retained placenta. And from that, she got a horrific affection and laminitis. And so Bonnie went out to her stall and it's a really hard story to hear Bonnie tell, but he says he looked her in the eyes and she's a big mare. She's uh, almost 1200 pounds. And he said her whole body was quivering. She was in so much pain. And he said, anybody that's a horseman knows the look in a horse's eye when they want to give up. And he said, but we couldn't give up on her because she was born on our farm. And so they, they had never used Nerf 2 before, but they had checked it out and they decided to try it on Miss Pangea. And that was on Saturday morning. They actually gave her nine pills. They didn't know how many to give her, but they figured the vet said it won't hurt her. So they loaded her up on three in the morning, three in the afternoon and three at night. And by set Sunday afternoon, she was nickering to her buddies out in the pasture and they had to come out and give Bonnie more antibiotics because the vet said, I didn't think she'd make it till Sunday. 
by the time Thursday came, she was better, completely better. And so Bonnie and Kim have their entire stable on Nerf 2 now. They had originally bought it to try it on one of their 30-year-old retired brood mares, but Miss Pangea had such profound results. They x-rayed her. She had absolutely no rotation in the coffin bone, and she went on to have three more foals after that. And so she is today 23, and you see her running around out in the pasture with her foal. You would never, ever guess that she's a 23-year-old mare. So I knew that if they were trusting their horses on it, that it was something that I could believe in. They actually put their weanlings and yearlings on it as well before they take them uh, to the auction, right? So um, older weanlings and yearlings, and they say it helps calm them. They can be shown 60, 70, 80 times a day uh, there at the auction. So they are huge believers in Nerf 2 activation. We have a bunch of other laminitis stories that, that Steph can share with you. This is a video of a horse named Spring. You see a huge, profound difference in her. These pictures on the left and on the bottom are actually taken by an equine vet uh, with some of the ponies that she treats. This one on the left with Puff is heartbreaking. He basically spent his whole year, his whole life laying down um, because his laminitis was so severe. We have another um, rescue down in New Zealand who rescues ponies and she has over 20 ponies who are laminitic who she has on nerve to activation and it has literally been the reason that they've been allowed to live. Um, they are doing well now. So these are some other pictures. I know we have some farriers that are interested in this of the type of recovery you're seeing. This is a hoof wall that came off from a fence injury on the right hand side, another fence injury. And that's what happens both with Nerf 2 activation with the pill, but we also have a Nerf 2 activated. Um, so it's actually a skincare product that was developed with Louisiana State University. And we use that skincare product on sarcoid tumors. We use it on the top. I have a horse that has coronary band dystrophy. Use it on the top of the hoof there. So it too allows you to give Nerf 2 activation from the outside in, as well as the Nerf 2 activated pill from the inside out. Now, these are some other testimonials. You can see here horses that have sarcoids, horses that have foundered, rotation in the coffin bone, ring bone issues, lots of horses that have responded with navicular. But this is actually a picture of Kim Heath with one of their brood mares that had um, come back to them. And you see that they had a sarcoid. She used Nerf 2 on her, put some Nerf 2 uh, anti-aging cream on the outside, and you see the sarcoid has fallen off and it's never coming back. come back. Some great testimonials from a variety of different people. This is, again, a barrel racer. She had a hard time keeping her horse healthy. You can see she used to get injections in her hocks or stifles, her coffin joints. Um, it was costing her a small fortune, she says. Now she's using Nerf 2 activation on her horse, and she went from being a 3D horse to a 1D horse. Think about that, what a big deal that is, not just for her comp competition, but imagine what a big difference this makes for this horse and how she feels after she's competed. This is another story of Chloe and boy, Chloe had a history. She's got navicular problems and, and, and bone chips. You can see she injured her stifle. She was using Equiox. She was using Butte. They started her on Nerf 2 in January of 2019. And three months later, the farrier couldn't believe it was the same horse. No more injections, no more Butte, no more Equiox. Now that doesn't happen with all the horses. Some of them may need to still stay on injections, but even Bonnie and Kim said their vet bills have been cut in half just by having their horses Nerf 2 activated. This is another story, another horse with navicular problems. You can see she could barely get up or barely walk. They said, look, she's not 100% sound, but this has given this horse her quality of life back. You see here a horse with uh, Cushing's on the left-hand side, and just in a few months of being Nerf 2 activated, even look at the distension in the abdomen area. That's what I think is profound, right? You can tell a beautiful, healthy, shiny coat, and then a horse with an allergic reaction just in a couple of days of using Nerf 2 and the Nerf 2 anti-aging cream. Now, Nerf 2 is for not just horses, but for all mammals. You can see, I actually have a great pair myself, so this picture I just loved, and I have all of my dogs on Nerf 2 as well. We have a dog formula that you can use called Pet Tandem. It's a chewable. It's a lot lower dosage of this, but it includes glucosamine, chondroitin, and some um, omega-3s in it. I just give my dogs, my dogs are around 100 pounds, my Malamutes and Peter, so I just actually give them our Pro Tandem itself. And we've actually been featured in Dogs Naturally magazine as well. So the dog version comes in a chewable. If you have a little toy dog that may have a more difficult time eating or swallowing a big pill, it does come in a chewable version. And 
I wanted to share this with you because this is actually my breed, Alaskan Malamutes, and there have been studies done on oxidative stress. And what they found is that elite canine athletes, just like elite equine athletes, they get more ulcers. Why? Because of oxidative stress. And what do we know is that Nerve 2 controls oxidative stress. This is one of my favorite stories. I got involved in this because I have some dogs that have the canine version of Lou Gehrig's disease called degenerative myelopathy. This is one of my friends who also has a dog that came down with what we call DM. So that's motor neuron disease in horses. And he had gotten so bad that he was in a wheelchair um, or in wheels. And his name's Boulder. And they started him on Nerf 2 activation and some omega-3s. Uh, Boulder is now able to jump back up on her bed, back up on her couch. He's not cured. Uh, Nerf 2 doesn't treat, cure, prevent, or mitigate any diseases. All it does is help your body control its inflammation and oxidative stress. And when you do that, the body can start to heal itself. These are some other um, videos that Steph can give you copies of, of a whole bunch of different horses, or a whole bunch of different dogs that have responded to being Nerf 2 activated, dogs that have had arthritis, older dogs with hip dysplasia, just dogs that have kind of lost their zest for life. And some of these older dogs, especially such a really amazing story, seeing them run around again like they were puppies. Now, a lot of people ask about who are the experts. So as the lawyer that I am, we always look for expert witness testimony. And what do the experts say? Not just the witnesses. So I wanted to share with you some of the experts that are with us here. So one of the experts is a, is a holistic vet. She wrote this article about Nerf 2 and its impact on oxidative stress. You see her up here. This is her. Katie Kangas is her name. She wrote that article. Here you see Bonnie and Kim Heath. This woman is an equine vet. This woman actually was an equine trainer on the track at Hialeah. She actually just retired recently from the track, but she is building a business with Nerf 2. This woman here, her name is Nicole. Really, really powerful testimonial. She is an equine. Um, she works as a vet tech at a holistic vet, and she's there with her horse named Buck. She put Buck on Nerf 2 when he was 31 years old. She thought it would be his last year, and Buck lived to about two weeks before his 38th birthday. There's a great interview with Bonnie and Heath and Nicole, and you can see Buck in the background. So a powerful story. Nicole also has a great story of one of her dogs who has uh, cancer and has been using both Nerf 2 and Nerf 1, which we'll talk about in just a second. And he has out-survived his cancer by about four years. So in the middle here, you see another equine vet. In the bottom right, an equine chiropractor. This is Greg Deeker. He has been a, a professional um, in the rodeo world for many years and also an inspector. But here, this is one of the guys I wanted to mention. His name's Lee Seward. Lee is an, a vet, and he worked for Merck, and in his career, he developed ivermectin, he developed heart guard. In his entire career, he's probably saved tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of animals' lives. He's retired now, but he came out of retirement when he read the science behind Nerf 2 activation because he realized that oxidative stress and inflammation are at the heart of so many diseases impacting our horses and dogs. And then we also have a jockey. So this is an eclipse winning jockey who also uses this on his horses and distributes, distributes it to his customers as well. So we have the full panorama of equine professionals and vets who believe in this. We also on the human side have cardiologists. These are all practicing physicians, pharmacists, um, plastic surgeons. You see very, very famous neurologist, David Perlmutter here. Over on the right hand side, this woman is a cancer pathologist. She actually went to med school in Russia and practiced there, then moved to Canada, and she's now a breast cancer pathologist in Canada. This gentleman actually got turned on to Nerf 2 because of the impact it was having on kids that he was treating with autism and ADHD. So a whole panorama of practicing physicians who believe in the science between, behind Nerf 2 activation as well. Now, this is the whole scheme of all the other products we have. We have a great skincare line, and this is the product here on the right that I mentioned you could use on your horses. We have a hair care line. So if you have a horse that is chewed its mane 
or you've lost some uh, some of its coat for whatever reason, a hair care line that will help as well. And this product right here on the left, Axio, a lot of people like in the, in the horse world as well. So the way that some people use Axio, let me show you here. Axio is a Nerf 2 activator, but it um, doesn't have ashwagandha and bacoba in it. So if you have to pull your horses off of Nerf 2 for a couple of days before competition, a lot of people will throw this Axio on their feet instead. And then we also have two other products we're going to talk about, Nerf 1 and NA that some people are using on their horses and dogs as well. So we call Nerf 1, Nerf 2, and NAD the tri-synergizer because the three of them all work to turn on your genes and they impact our body's different ways of aging. So Nerf 2 impacts the oxidative stress or a free radical theory of aging. Nerf 1 helps with the mitochondrial theory of aging and NAD helps with the sirtuin theory of aging. We have a whole webinar that goes over these in a lot more detail, but I wanted to at least mention them to you because these are the three core products that almost every human that is using our line is, is using, and it's making a massive difference. As you can see on the right-hand side, these are all of the different benefits. And I know Melody, who's on the call here right now, has also used a Tri-Synergizer on a couple of her horses too. So what does Nerf 1 do? Nerf 1 is targeted at your mitochondria. So your mitochondria are the engines of your cells. It's what gives us our energy to move. It's really important for cardiovascular function and for neurological function. So if you have a horse that has any of those things, especially as we age, our mitochondria start dying. And our quality of life depends on our quality of mitochondria. So Nerf 1 is very important for that. So it's going to help boost your existing mitochondria, stimulate you to make new mitochondria, it's going to help with ATP. That's the energy. It's the fuel for our bodies and our horses' bodies. It's going to help support that healthy DNA. It's going to help with sleep and cellular repair, brain health, heart health. And these are the ingredients, alpha lipoic acid, CoQ10, grape extract, that's similar to resveratrol, quercetin, which is one of my favorite antioxidants in Nerf 2 activators, and acetyl L-carnitine. The other product that we just came out with last fall is called NAD. The long term stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. So you understand why we just call it NAD a lot easier, right? So NAD is a derivative of vitamin B3. When you take B3, it goes through your body and most of it doesn't get utilized especially as we age. And the B3 turns into NAD. NAD is the fuel for our body's longevity genes called sirtuins. And these are seven genes that control all sorts of amazing functions in our body. And as we get to middle age, either as humans or horses, those genes are only about 30% as effective as they used to be when we were young or when, we, when our horses were foals. And so we want to turn those genes back on to work the way they did when we were younger. So NAD is going to boost your mitochondria. It's going to help immensely with joint health and muscle recovery. Again, more energy or ATP. And then it's going to have a massive impact on the inflammatory response. It's going to help us get rid of the junk in our cells. That's called autophagy. It's going to help support healthy cholesterol. If you're a human, horses don't tend to have problems with cholesterol, but it's also going to help healthy heart, liver, and vascular function. Vascular function is so important for horses. It's going to help with their mood and concentration, their DNA, and this is what's in it. So cuprous niacin is the NAD precursor. Theocrine uh, is like a uh, caffeine derivative, very similar to caffeine, but it doesn't give you the jitters. Olive oil extract and wasabi, which is a soy, right? So now, how do these work together? You can see if you just take Nerf 1 alone in the blue, bright blue, you see that it's going to turn on this Nerf 1 gene or it's going to turn on this gene called PGC1 alpha. These genes boost your mitochondria. But if you take Nerf 1 with NAD and Nerf 2, it's going to have a bigger impact, 120% increase. If you take NAD by itself, you can see it's going to be 12% increase in these genes that control sirtuins. But if you take all three, you're going to massive boost 10 times more and 20 times more here. But this is the one I love. There's not even enough room on the slide here. I want to focus over here on the far right. If you take Nerf 2 by itself, which a lot of horses do, um, it's going to boost your body's, this is your anti-inflammatory gene. It's called Hemiox. H-M-O-X-1. Hemiox, it's going to increase the production of that hemiox gene by 51%. But if you take all three, it's going to boost your body's anti-inflammatory function 
almost 850%. That's why so many people take all three. And if you have a horse that's a tough keeper, you might want to try all three of them on their horse as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we just want to talk a little bit about the clinical studies because I wanted to hear about the science when I got involved with this company. I didn't just want to believe what people told me. I wanted to know that there was science behind this before I was going to give it to my dogs and certainly before I was going to give it to my senior citizen dad. So here at LifeVantage, we have 31 peer-reviewed clinical studies and seven patents. So the recipe matters, right? Recipe matters when you make a cake. It matters when you use a supplement. And the recipe here has been patented. And those 31 peer-reviewed studies are important. So what that means is when a scientist does a research study, he writes up a paper and he sends it off to be reviewed by a journal, maybe by the American Heart Association's journal or you may have heard of the New England Journal of Medicine or the American Medical Association's journal. They have an editorial board of other doctors and scientists and biochemists that review the study, and they decide if the study's legitimate. Was it fair? Was there any bias in it? Do they agree with the conclusions the scientists reached? And only about 10% of studies ever submitted to these journals get published. It's unheard of to walk into your feed and tax store or honestly into your pharmacy and look on the shelves of the pharmacy or on the shelves of your feed and tax store that there are peer reviewed studies. Our product stands alone. And that's one of the reasons we are so excited to be associated with the company. These are some of the many different universities that have done studies into our products. We've been published even in the American Heart Association's journal. LSU did some fantastic studies about skin cancer. You're gonna hear about those in just a second, but it's kind of a who's who's list of important universities, including places like Mayo. Now, I mentioned you can find those peer-reviewed studies on a place called PubMed.gov. This is the U.S. government's website. And if you go there and you type in PubMed.gov, you can type in horse and oxidative stress, or you can type in inflammation or equine and pesticide, and you're going to see all the studies that relate to, and these are published peer-reviewed studies. These are going to be the studies that relate to horses. One of them you'll see is out of Oregon State, and it talks about how Nerf 2 works like a heat seeking missile. And this is really important. So you remember Steph saying, you know, she's got some older horses and she doesn't know, they don't really have a specific problem, but they're just getting old. They're getting kind of lame. They may have some problems with their stifles, maybe some navicular from when they were younger. Well, what Nerf 2 does that's really fantastic is it's inside every single cell in our body. We have 37 trillion cells in our body. And what Nerf 2 does is it hangs out in there like a bodyguard. And when the cell is under distress, when the cell is damaged, what Nerf 2 does is it moves to the nucleus and it rings the alarm bell and it sends a message to your body's pharmacy that says, hey, I need anti-inflammatories or hey, I've got an infection, send anti-fungals here, or send antivirals here. What's really powerful is Nerf 2 only rings the alarm bell where you need it. So you may not know your horse has an abscess in its foot, maybe in its hoof, you may not have found it, but Nerf 2 knows and it rings the alarm bell and it sends the pharmacy to work on wherever that alarm bell is rung. Now, there's a great study out of Washington State where they talked about how Nerf 2, again, you're going to see here, it talks about those 500 survival genes. And this isn't our study. I love this because this is third party validation. So Nerf 2 is going to decrease it's going to help us detoxify. It's going to help with antioxidants, decrease our inflammation. It's going to help with mitochondria. But the authors of this study said Nerf 2 is so powerful that it may well become the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. And this isn't just human medicine. This is vet medicine too, right? Now, these are some of the studies I mentioned to you. You see all these studies about Nerf 2, Nerf 2 impacting arthritis, Every dog, every horse, every older person, we've all got inflammation and osteoarthritis. You can see how it does a really great role. It helps limit, actually limit the cartilage destruction and damage that goes on in our body. Over here on the left, you see it plays a protective role against that osteoarthritis that horses and people will get. You see here, this is our study, that our own personal study on our product that was conducted at LSU, and they found that ProTandem, Nerf 2, is going to significantly decrease tumor incidence by 33% and tumor multiplicity by 57%. Now, we are not saying that 
protannin is going to treat, cure, prevent, or mitigate cancer. What this study found is that when this anti-aging cream or the NERF2 activator is used, that it's going to turn on your body's own gene called P53. P53 is a cancer-fighting gene. So it's basically turning on your pharmacy to do what it did when you were younger. Now, we also have, I wanted to show you, this is a human study that we did. It was our very first study, and we compared oxidative stress in 29 different people from the ages of 18 up to the age of 78. And this oxidative stress levels, you can see the older they are, the more oxidative stress they had. After just 30 days of taking ProTandem, you see the results on the bottom. Everybody's oxidative stress went down by an average of 40% in 30 days, and the researchers couldn't tell the difference in the oxidative stress of a 20-year-old and the oxidative stress of an 80-year-old. That was just after 30 days. So imagine what would happen if you took this for 30 months or if you're a human for 30 years. And that's what the National Institute of Health did. And that's when they found our product, Nerf2, increased the median lifespan of male mice by 7%, the only all-natural product that they've ever tested that did that. Now, a couple of equine studies we wanted to show you. Here's a bunch of studies. This is not our product. This is just showing you how oxidative stress impacts horses. All of these studies show you that laminitis, it's an inflammation, right? Milk thistle helps with that. Oxidative stress plays a role in gastrointestinal issues, so colic. And then you see up here, this lamini are susceptible to superoxide toxins. That superoxide dismutase is going to overcome that. Remember in our prior slide, we said superoxide dismutase increased by 30%. This is a fantastic study in humans and horses where they found that oxidative stress plays a big role in asthma and in heaves and that our respiratory function in people and horses, it declines as we age, as our oxidative stress goes up, that our mitochondria get more damaged, and that asthmatics, just like horses as well, have reduced SOD, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase. So our horses with heaves are going to have less of those good antioxidants that only our body can make. And we know that Nerf2 activation is going to help your body produce those. You can see some powerful studies about bleeders here and that bleeders, it's related to what? inflammation and oxidative stress. We also know that if you have to give your horse Lasix, that Nerf2 is also going to protect the liver from some of that Lasix toxicity. I love this because it talks about the impact on a whole bunch of different performance horses. So jumpers, trotters, you can see here the stress hormones increase in horses. When you trailer horses and transport them, that also increases their oxidative stress. Nerf2, again, will help control that. This talks about reproductive health. So you see here, stallions. The semen quality is associated with lower levels of sod and glutathione. What does Nerf2 do? Boost those. You can see, again, equine infectious anemia. Here, sod and catalase, those internal antioxidants that our horses' bodies make, more powerful than vitamin C and vitamin E. And then here you see if you are going to geld your horse that there's a lot of oxidative stress associated with that. So you want to make sure you get your geldings on Nerf2 activation. We know that Cushing's is also related to oxidative stress, huge impact by free radicals uh, and the damage if you have PPID or like my dogs, if your horse has motor neuron disease. I thought this was really, really profound when I saw this. This is Horse Talk out of New Zealand, and they found that the equine metabolic syndrome or Cushing's is related to herbicides, pesticides, plastics in the personal care products of our horses. What do we know about Nerf2? That Washington State study that we mentioned, they found that Nerf2 turns on 25 different genes that control our body's ability to detoxify itself. And it's going to help us get rid of those toxic chemicals and toxic metals that are impacting our body and our horses' bodies. So you see here again, oxidative stress is associated with insulin resistance, and we know that also goes back to laminitis. Horses with equine metabolic syndrome have reduced superoxide dismutase, reduced SOD. Over and over again, oxidative stress is related to SOD, catalase, and glutathione, and we know Nerf2 boosts that. Just briefly wanted to mention, almost everybody has butte in their barn, right? Um, they use it for horses that are, have some pain. Everybody knows that too much butte can cause problems with ulcers. It also impacts blood flow, can cause kidney damage, thyroid damage. But what I think is really powerful here is, is 
Butte can actually depress bone healing. So if you have a horse that has problems, that's best you got an off the track thoroughbred or a horse that you're trying to rehab from some fractures, Butte's actually going to slow down that healing. And I just briefly wanted to mention this. So you guys have all heard of Susan Stover, Larry Bramlage, Patty Hogan, all important equine vets. They talk about the fact that the FDA unfortunately doesn't test drugs that we are going to give to our dogs and horses the way that they do for people. And that's why we're seeing a lot of problems in horses over time. So you see the issue here with bisphosphonates that they've been using, and they believe this is contributing to a lot of the horses that are failing so young on the track. But, you know, I'll mention my personal story. Story. I used Vioxx personally, um, gave me a lot of relief from the arthritis. I mentioned I've had 16 different surgeries. Well, Vioxx got pulled off the market because it was causing heart attacks and strokes in humans. The manufacturer had spent millions upon millions of dollars developing it. So what did they do? They just repackaged it as Prevacox for dogs and Equiox for horses, and they did almost no studies. So they tested it to see if it caused ulcers but they did not test it for the impact on the vascular system. So there are some people that believe that some of the problems with aortic aneurysms may be related to the use of Equiox and Prevacox. So no clinical studies about that yet, but I can tell you if you can get your horse off Equiox and get them on an all natural nerve two activator, that would be a great option. Now I just want, we're almost getting to the end here. I just want to mention a lot of people that have ridden horses have been thrown off their horse and suffered concussions. Certainly if you compete in bull riding or if you're busting Bronx, you've had concussions and multiple. We know that concussions are a huge problem regardless of what kind of activity you compete in, whether you're skiing or whether you're a high school athlete. And it's really important we wanted to mention because concussions cause inflammation and oxidative stress. So the same stories that we've been talking about all night, they damage your body's mitochondria. And when that happens, Later on in life, they lead you to be more susceptible to Parkinson's disease, to Lou Gehrig's disease, to Alzheimer's and dementia. And so, so important. If you are regularly riding, if you're doing motocross riding, um, if you've been thrown off an ATV, if you've been thrown off a horse, if any of these activities, if you've played football and you've suffered concussions, very important to be nerve two activated to minimize your 